Mark J. Heller is well known as being a very colorful, a very controversial lawyer. This was uh, too good of a New York story not to do, so we decided we'd explore his uh, legal career. Back in uh, 1977, when the Son of Sam was arrested, uh, for a brief period, about a month, uh, Mr. Heller uh, was on his legal team. We thought, since Mr. Heller had been making a big deal about it, representing the Son of Sam, uh, that it would be a good idea to talk to Mr. Berkowitz. And it, it, it struck us as, uh, as interesting that one of Mr. Heller's biggest fans does happen to be a serial killer. I liked Mark. He was just a very uh, easygoing guy and uh, looked like a college student, almost kind of more like my age. I certainly have interviewed a lot of people who are notorious, but this was uh, the first jailhouse interview I'd done with a, uh, a serial killer, and we found it to be very revealing in terms of what he had to say about Mr. Heller and his more recent encounters with him. And out of nowhere, uh, he wrote me a letter just to say hi, uh, tell me what was going on in his life. It was a friendly letter. Unbeknownst to him, I was going through a difficult time with another attorney, uh, attorney who I had given all my property to to keep in storage, you know, personal photos, mementos. And the next thing Mr. Berkowitz knew is uh, Mr. Heller, uh, his son, and his daughter uh, were working on this case for him uh, pro bono because Mr. Berkowitz had no money. Uh, Mr. Berkowitz estimates they put in several hundred hours and a settlement was finally reached in the case and uh, Mr. Berkowitz seemed very happy and eternally grateful to him and his family for helping him. Well, me personally, I see the hand of God in it because I'm, I'm a Christian and I was fervently praying, you know, God, please help me with this situation. This other lawyer, I mean, has just taken everything and cleaned me out. He's got all kinds of plans to market this or that. And uh, I just feel, you know, really helpless, victimized, um, whatever. I believe that um, God put it in his heart to think about me, to write to me, because it, it couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Their relationship um, seems to be uh, fairly close in that before um, we went up to interview Mr. Berkowitz, Mr. Berkowitz said he actually had called Mr. Heller uh, to let him know that we were coming. I wrote a nice letter, you know, because I'm so grateful for all the market Mr. Heller had done for me. And uh, so I re read the letter to him over the phone. You know, I thought he'd be excited about it, you right. know. Was he? <laughs> no. <laughs> It was interesting uh, and perplexing to us that somebody who, who has uh, had a lot of experience you know, with the media um, declined you know, numerous requests we made uh, via phone, via email, uh, in person uh, at his office uh, for an interview. And we still are not quite sure why. Okay, I hope oh, this turns out well and hope you go kind of easy on the market. Easy, decent, I hope it will be very fair, I promise you. Okay. Thank you.